Hello everybody, welcome to another review here. Now, Bitdefender Beta 2013, of course, just got released a day ago, I think. So I just grabbed the installer and it's a pretty big installer as Bitdefender always have. I think it's about 231 megs as you can see. And you can see some small changes to the interface. They've added this new gadget for your desktop which I don't like too much. The interface is still the same design but they've made some small changes here and there. Now you can go back to this kind of view. And the basic thing is still the same though. No major changes. Uh, now you can see your settings. We'll just go to the firewall settings. Now I hoped that they would turn on the intrusion detection by default but they haven't done that so anyway we'll just uh, test it with intrusion prevention set to normal because I don't want to totally remove its zero day protection capabilities so we'll just do that one change and the rest of stuff is just going to be set to stock you can see all of that stuff antivirus is set to normal change your update settings everything else is just the way it should have been I've not messed with anything just intrusion detection I'm keep keeping it at normal now let me just show you that it's up to date so that's the interface uh, no major changes to the application from what I could see just they've improved some features one or two small changes here and there but nothing to really that would really make a big difference to their detection or prevention capabilities so it should do just as the last one did so we'll find out if it does anything better anything worse there you go it's up to date so let's start the test here I've got 10 malicious links first kinds of stuff first ones an exploit got some trojans some exploits some potentially unwanted programs uh, sorry about that <laughs> that's just uh... okay that was just my host machine getting into play here now right now let's just try it again this has some redirect to some exploit and Bitdefender didn't block that so but it's not doing anything it's not dropping any files but certainly this is some kind of a redirect so you'd expect a full featured product like Bitdefender to block this page okay second one was blocked by Bitdefender cloud protection So third one was also blocked by their web blocking and their web blocking I think is kind of like cloud based so it says that it's been blocked by their cloud. There you go this one's been blocked <coughs> okay this time it gives me a much better alert it tells me what thread is present that is Trojan JS agent so let's see if this one's blocked yep Bitdefender do have pretty good web blocking features so this is kind of what I was thinking we'd see a lot of these are low detection malware that have about 78 detections in Varstow. I do not get malware that have just got one detection or two detections in Varstow. I just consider them as false positives. So the ones I've got have got at least uh, 5 out of 42 detections. And the Defender seems to be in the top 5 of the engines getting them because it's been blocking all of the stuff that I've been trying there you go this one's also blocked so 
as we all know, I think Bitdefender does pretty good in the web blocking, so I'm not exactly very surprised that it's blocking the sites. I'm rather a little bit disappointed that it didn't block the exploit in the first one. So let's try the last one here. Okay, this one was about able to bypass the web blocker. I think this is a potentially unwanted program. So it's not a big piece of Trojan or anything, this is just PUP. So we'll see if our other engines get it, because Bitdefender doesn't seem to do very well in detection of PUPs. Anyway, we've got the safe pay, which is another form of your browser. And this one, you can just uh, go and open up some banking sites. There you go. Uh, you can use this browser when you're doing your banking, uh, networking, and stuff like that. Uh, to be more safe so anyway that's another new thing that they've added so let me just get some files here welcome back everybody I just grabbed a folder of malware containing 352 pieces of malicious software so I just disabled the defender so that we can take a look at this folder and I'm just going to do a scan and we'll see what it finds so I'll be back when the scan's done, and we'll check out their scan speeds as well. Uh, now it's 121, so let's see how long it takes. I guess I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so the scan just finished, and now it's uh, 134, so it took 13 minutes now. That's pretty bad, I have to say. Pretty poor scan speed. Anyway, we'll just uh, select delete on all items and we'll hit continue. Hopefully the cleaning will be uh, faster than the scan. Anyway, it doesn't seem that way, so I guess I'll be back when the threats have been removed. Okay, so the cleaning was pretty much as slow as the scan, so it took about a total of 25 minutes to get the whole job done. Now I know security suites that could have done this whole thing in a couple of minutes. Now it couldn't remove one file. Now since it's one file I'm not gonna do another scan. Now anyway this is Bitdefender's fault not mine. It says you do not have proper administrative rights but I do have all the rights in fact uh, but this is the administrator account but for some odd reason it can clean it. So let's see what we've got left over here. We've got 62 items. And we had a total of, uh, I think, 352. So that's going to give us a detection rate of 82%, 81.81. So that's not exactly very amazing for me, but uh, it's decent, it's not that bad. In fact, these files are just uh, one day old. I just grabbed uh, fresh malware yesterday, so it's a pretty decent detection rate. But I don't see any huge improvement to really praise or talk about. So let's just see what responses they do have against files that are not in their signatures. So let's just try run some of these and see what happens. That one was able to run. There you go. So far, nothing uh, from Bitdefender. Okay, now intrusion detection has blocked a potentially malicious application. So it doesn't seem like they've got a really good uh, defense uh, kind of thing against uh, files that are not in their signatures. You can see stuff like AdWord just uh, going straight through. Their intrusion detection doesn't seem very responsive. Only in one case did I get an alert. I'm not going to download 24 megs just to install adware. 
So I guess I'll just cancel this. And there you go, another thing was blocked by intrusion detection, but it does seem pretty slow. So I'm not exactly going to run too many things today. Haven't got a lot of time. But, okay, there we go, another one was blocked. So it's not that bad, but it's not 100% uh, protection. You're still gonna be left open in a lot of locations. Anyway, I'll just uh, reboot the system now and do a scan with uh, CCleaner first and remove the temp files and then I'll do a scan with Hitman Pro and I'll be back. Well, Hitman Pro has just finished its scan and it's not found anything other than this tracking cookie. And now I'm just updating Malwarebytes so that we can do the scan. Now before that, let me just uh, show you guys the memory usage of Bitdefender. Now this is their security surface using about 17 megabytes and then we've got their agent and their parental controls. So in total it looks like it's using about Okay, this one fell down to just about nothing, so it's a lot better now. Okay, so right now it's uh, doing really well. It's using under 10 megabytes. However, I did notice light computer slowdown after installing Bitdefender, so it's not doing amazing in the performance, but still pretty good. Uh, not too much slowdown, it's fine. RAM usage is certainly improved. So I guess I'll be back when Malwarebytes finishes uh, its scan. Well, as you can see, uh, Malwarebytes didn't find anything, so it looks like the new Bitdefender is doing just as well. So this, uh, whatever this uh, potentially unwanted program is, is not being detected by either um, Hitman Pro or Malwarebytes, so let's just upload it to Firestool and see what happens. So I'll be back uh, with the upload. Okay, so it's just trying to run Firestool Uploader and Bitdefender blocked it. So it looks like their intrusion prevention still has some false positives. There you go. Intrusion prevention detected and blocked a potentially malicious application. So that's why they don't enable it because it still gives just too many false positives. I guess that's the reason why they turn it off. So I wouldn't recommend turning this on either because if it blocks Firestool Uploader, it might block a lot of legitimate applications. So I guess we'll just uh, upload this uh, file to Firestool and I'll be back when this is done. Okay, as you can see, uh, these are the results for the file. So it's certainly a false positive. So it looks like uh, the new Bitdefender is doing pretty well, but uh, I thought, kind of thought that they would have worked on their intrusion prevention, but it appears that they haven't done that. Uh, it's still giving some false positives, it's still not perfect, so that's not kind of the application that would give you complete all-around protection. I still think that this application has to improve on so, zero-day detection, but then again, nothing's perfect, so this is a pretty good application, you can try it out. And then again, there's a beta, so can't expect more than this, it blocked everything that we tried, so Bitdefender did pretty, pretty well. So I hope you guys enjoy the review, comment, write, and subscribe as usual, and good day, and goodbye.